grade 8 students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelito Panuncio. In this lesson, you will learn how to factor quadratic trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 1. So there are three steps to remember in factoring quadratic trinomial where a is not equal to 1. So first, Factor out any common monomial factor. So, ito yung greatest common monomial factor. Kung meron man sila ang GCF, i-factor out muna natin sila. Next, list all factor of A and C. So, i-factor natin yung A and then factor din natin yung C. Next step is, try and check combination of the factors of A and C until the correct middle term BX is obtained. So, proceed tayo sa problem number 1. In our problem number 1, we have 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. So, meron ba silang GCF? Wala. So, proceed tayo sa step number 2. List all the factors of A and C. So, the factors of our A is 2x multiplied by x. And next, proceed tayo sa factors ng ating C. So, we have 1 times 3. And the other one is 3 times 1. Uh, meron po bang factors ang C natin? Wala na. So, next time, next step, try and check combination tayo. Or trial and error method tayo. So, we have 2x. And the other one is x times, try natin to, plus 1, then plus 3. And then, multiply lang natin yung outer term. And then, the inner term. Dapat, ang sum nila ay equal sa middle term natin. So, 2x multiplied by 3, we have 6x. Then, 1 multiplied by x, we have positive x. So, ang sum nila, 6x plus x, we have 7x. Same ba sa ating middle term? No. So, ibig sabihin, hindi itong magiging factor. Okay, try natin, and cancel na to. Try natin to. 3 and 1. So, 3 sa una. 3, then 1 here. So, try natin. So, 2x multiplied by 1, we have 2x. Then, 3 multiplied by x, we have positive 3x. Then, 2x plus 3x, we have 5x. Same ba sa ating middle term? Yes. Therefore, ito ang magiging factor natin. So, sulat natin. It is equal now to 2x plus 3, and then the other one is x plus 1. So, yun po ang ating magiging factor, given this problem. Okay? Next, problem number 2 tayo. Meron bang common monomial factor? Wala. So, proceed tayo sa ating step 2. List all the factor of a and c. Okay, so, 2y multiplied by y. Here, ang factors natin dito ay 1 times 15, or pwede rin naman 15 times 1, pwede rin 5 times 3, or 3 times 5. Okay? So, trial and error method ulit tayo. So, we have 2y, and the other one is y. Okay. Try natin to 1 times 15. So, plus 1, then plus 15. Okay? So, and outer to outer, this one, and then inner to inner. So, 2y multiplied by 15, we have 30y. 1 multiplied by y, we have y. So, plus y. So, ang magiging sum nila is 30y plus y, we have 31y. Hindi sila pareho sa ating middle term. So, x is ang factor niya. Next, try natin naman yung so, 15 and 1. So, 15 dito. Then, 1 dito. So, 2y multiply by 1. We have 2y. Next, 15 multiply by y. We have 15y. Alright, 2y plus 15y, we have 
17y. Same ba sila? No. So, x is na naman ito. Okay? Try natin itong 5 and 3. So, 5 dito. And then, 3 dito. So, 2y multiplied by 3, we have 6y. Then, next, 5 multiplied by y, we have 5y. 6y plus 5y is equal now to 11y. Same ba sa ating middle term? Yes. Therefore, ito po yung magiging factors natin. So, sulat natin dito. So, we have 2y plus 5 and the other one is y plus 3. Okay? Gets? Okay, so proceed tayo sa problem number 3. Problem number 3. In problem number 3, we have 3a squared plus 7a plus 4. So, since wala naman silang common monomial factor, proceed tayo sa ating step number 2. List the factors of a and c. Okay, factors ng a natin, we have 3a multiplied by a. And then sa c natin, we have 1 multiplied by 4. Pwede rin siyang 4 multiplied by 1. Or, 2 multiplied by 2. Okay, then trial and error tayo. So, we have 3a. And then the other one is a. So, try natin ito. 1 and 4. So, plus 1 and then plus 4. So, outer to outer, inner to inner. So, 3a multiplied by 4, we have 12a. Then, 1 multiplied by a, we have a. So, ang sum nila kapag kinuha, 12a plus a, we have 13a. Uh, 13a, dito, 7a, they are not the same. Therefore, hindi itong magiging factors natin. Okay? So, at least. Next, try natin itong 4 and 1. So, dito, 4. And dito naman is 1. So, 3a multiplied by 1, we have 3a. Then, 4 multiplied by a, we have 4a. Is equal now to 3a plus 4a, we have 7a. Same ba sila sa ating middle term? Yes. Therefore, ito po yung magiging factors natin. So, isulat natin dito, we have... 3a plus 4, and then the other one is a plus 1. So, yun yung magiging sagot natin. Gets? Okay, next, proceed tayo sa problem number 4. In problem number 4, we have 3b squared less 10b plus a. Okay, so factors ng ating a, we have 3b multiplied by b. Okay, look, sa ating b, negative. Sa so, last meeting, sinabi ko sa inyo na kapag ang constant natin, ang C natin ay positive, it's either dalawang positive or dalawang negative. And then, nakadepende rin siya sa ating B. Kapag ang sign ng ating B ay negative, therefore, dalawang negative. Okay? Or kapag sign naman ng B natin is positive, therefore, dalawang positive. Kapag ang constant natin ay positive. Yan lang. Okay, since dito is positive and negative yung middle term natin, therefore, dalawang negative ang magiging factors natin. So, pwede siyang negative 1 multiplied by negative 8. Or, pwede rin naman negative 8 multiplied by negative 1. Next, pwede rin siyang negative 4 multiplied by negative 2. Pwede rin negative 2 multiplied by negative 2. Next, trial and error method tayo. So, we have 3B and then the other one is B. Okay? Try natin ito. Negative 1 and negative 8. So, negative 1 dito, negative 8. Okay? Outer to outer, inner to inner. So, 3B multiplied by negative 8, we have negative 24B. Then, negative 1 multiplied by B, we have negative B. Okay, kapag kinuha ang sum, negative 24B minus B, 
we have negative 25b, which is not the same to our b. So, x is ang muna natin factor. Okay? Next tayo, try natin ito. Negative 8, then negative 1. So, negative 8 dito. Then, dito naman is 1. Okay, so we have 3b multiplied by negative 1. We have negative 3b. The next, negative 8 multiplied by b, we have negative 8b. Kunin natin ang sum, negative 3b minus 8b, we have negative 11b. Same ba dan? Okay? No. So, ibig sabihin, hindi niya factor. X is din ito. Okay, try naman natin ito. So, negative 4 dito. And then, ito naman is negative 2. Okay? So, 3B multiplied by negative 2, we have negative 6B. <coughs> Next, in our term, negative 4 multiplied by B, we have negative 4B. Kunin natin ang sum. Negative 6B less 4B, we have negative 10B. Same na ba? Yes. Therefore, ito po ang magiging factors natin. I-write natin dito, we have 3B less 4, and then the other one is B minus 2. Okay, so, yan yung magiging sagat natin. Gets? <coughs> Next, proceed tayo sa problem number 5. Now, let's proceed to problem number 5. In problem number 5, we have 4M squared plus 15M minus 4. So, kunin natin ang factors ng ating A. We have 4M multiplied by M. Or pwede siyang 2M multiplied by 2M. Next, factors ng ating C. Since ang ating C ay negative, therefore, ang magiging factors natin ay isang positive and then isang negative. So, pwede siyang negative 4 times 1 or positive 4 times negative 1. Next, pwede rin siyang negative 1 times 4 or positive 1 times negative 4. Or, pwede rin siyang negative 2 times 2. Yan. Yan yung mga factors ng ating C. Next, trial and error method tayo. Gamitin natin yung unang factors ng ating A. 4m, then m. So, 4m times m. And then, gamitin natin ito. Negative 4 and then 1. So, negative 4 dito. And then, positive 1 here. So, outer to outer. Inner to inner tayo. 4m multiplied by 1, we have 4m. Then, negative 4 multiplied by m, we have negative 4m. Okay, kunin natin ang sum. 4m minus 4m is equal to 0. Ayan. Since they are not equal our middle term, therefore, x is yung sagot na yan. Okay? And then, magiging factors natin. Now, try natin to. 4 and then negative 1. So, positive 4 dito, then negative 1 dito. So, 4m multiplied by 1, we have negative 4m. Then, positive 4 multiplied by m, we have positive 4m. So, yun ang sum is equal to 0. Yeah. Hindi naman sila the same, therefore, hindi itong magiging factors natin. Okay, x is din yan. Next. Yeah. So, tayo, negative 1. Yeah. Negative 1, and then, positive 4. So, yan. 4m multiplied by 4, we have... 16m. And then, negative 1 multiplied by m, we have negative m. Okay? 16m minus m is equal to 15m. Same ba sila sa ating middle term? Yes. Therefore, ito po yung magiging factors natin. I-rewrite natin. So, we have 4m minus 1, and the other one is m plus 4. So, yun yung magiging sagot natin. Yes? Next tayo, sa problem number 6. In problem number 6, we have 5n squared less 18n minus 8. So first, kunin natin ang factors ng ating a. 5n multiplied by n. 
Next, ang ating C. Since negative siya, therefore isang positive and then isang negative na naman ang magiging factors natin. So, pwede siya ang negative 8 multiplied by 1 or positive 8 multiplied by negative 1. Pwede rin siya negative 4 times 2 or positive 4 times negative 2. Next, pwede rin siyang negative 2 times 4 or positive 2 times negative 4. Last, pwede rin siyang negative 1 times 8 or 1 times negative 8. Okay? So, next, trial and error method tayo. Gamitin natin yun. So, 5n and then the other one is n. Okay, gamitin natin to negative 8 and then 1. So, negative 8 dito and then positive 1 dito. Okay, outer to outer, inner to inner. So, 5n multiplied by 1, we have 5n. Then, negative 8 multiplied by n, we have negative 8n. 5n minus 8n is equal to negative 3n. Same ba sila sa ating middle term? No. Therefore, hindi ito magiging factor natin. Okay, n is. Next, try naman natin to. Positive 8 and then negative 1. Okay? So, 5n multiplied by 1, we negative 1, I mean, is we have negative 5n. Okay? Next, positive 8 multiplied by n, we have positive 8n. So, negative 5n plus 8n is equal to positive 3n. Same ba sila? Sa ating middle term? No. Therefore, hindi yan ang magiging factors natin. Okay? X din to. Next, try natin to. Negative 4. Negative 4. And then, positive 2. So, positive 2. So, 5n multiplied by 2, we have 10n. Then, negative 4 multiplied by n, we have negative 4n. Is equal now to 10n minus 4n is equal to 6 same ba sila? No. Therefore, hindi yan ang magiging factors natin. Next, try natin to. 4, positive 4, and then, positive 4, and then, negative 2. Okay, negative 2. 5n multiplied by negative 2, we have negative 10n. Then, positive 4 multiplied by n, we have positive 4n. Is equal now to negative 10n plus 4n, we have negative 6 are they the same? No. Therefore, hindi rin yan ang magiging factors natin. Next, try naman natin tong negative 2, then 4. So, negative 2 dito, and then positive 4 dito. So, 5n multiplied by 4, we have 20n. Negative 2 multiplied by n, we have negative 2n. Is equal now to 20n minus 2n, we have 18n. Ayan. Tama? Save na ba sila? Negative 18n, then positive 18n. Are they the same? No. Therefore, hindi rin yan ang magiging factors natin. Okay? Try naman natin to. Positive 2, and then negative 4. So, negative 4 dito. So, 5n. That's negative 4. We have negative 20n. 2 multiply by n, we have positive 2n. Okay? Negative 20n plus 2n is equal to negative 18n. Are they the same now? Yes. Therefore, ito na yung magiging factors natin. Okay, right lang natin. So, we have 5n plus 2 and then the other one is n minus 4. So, yun yung magiging sagot natin. Yes? Ayan, we're done! I hope na meron na naman kayong natutunan sa video ito na inyong pinanood. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and then if you have clarification, ask your teacher. See you next time!